and ask one of the old timers over here about them. About him, rather. And actually talk to him. If it didn't happen ten years ago, I don't know much about it. I'm okay with that. I, I'm perfectly happy with that response. Okay, looks like no one's gonna really give us the, uh, the rundown of what's going on with Bichowski here. Uh, what do we have here? Radio City Museum of Unnatural History. I'd, uh, check out the exhibit. Alright, well... Let's talk to, uh, Ken. Fill off some of this shit. Maybe buy some more explosives if they're not too, uh, exorbitantly priced. Alright, recruits, got any good shit for me? Have a look at this shit. Shit, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, let's see, I believe we have it on Angela, but we can just... From here. So, 112 bucks, I don't think that's enough for really anything. Not even pipe bombs, which are useful, but nowhere near as useful as grenades. And we have various other explosives and some more stashed in the, uh, in the chest in the other room, so we'll just sell this and be on our merry way. Can ask him about Pachowski? Spelling this right, right? I understand. Go to the store. That guy's like some kind of crazy wizard. Wild. Oh yeah, he's a uh, he's big into explosives himself, isn't he? Well, I've noticed as I've gone back and checked a couple of these videos. That, um, occasionally I will say a, uh, multisyllabic word rather quickly, and it will miss certain syllables. Either my microphone's missing certain syllables, it's not being recorded, or I just don't know how to speak, which is probably more likely. So, in any case, I'm going to try to slow down my normal speaking voice. Which is probably a good thing to get into, considering I have to repeat myself a lot. It's, you know, mumbling quickly. Oh no, why don't the rest of you talk fast? Come on. Okay. Yeah, our only options are yes or no. And no, he tells us to fuck off. So, we can't find out any more about what he's been doing in here. So, yes. The question is, are we being sincere, or are we just telling him what he wants to hear so that we can get the information out of him? Or red suits, as the case may be. Let's see. You release him into our custody, we need him for a pending investigation. And say I'm doing it fast again. And you release him into our custody, we need him for a pending investigation. Maybe that's more... I don't know. I've kind of I feel like that sounded very, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Stilted and terrible. Which probably most of my talking does sound like that. Oh, hey. Uh... He doesn't want him here because he stinks, so he's just kind of taking our word for it that... I find it surprising we didn't need to get any sort of official okay to take him out of here. And we need to go check out Rick's RV. And that got Marcus a uh, level. So we're going to call across the base because that's how you do it. Even though they're just in the other room. Um. I 
definitely be working on getting these things up to level 4. But, um... Yeah. Tracking would be good, but all reloaders seem to find in saves are just random bits of fucking ammo. It's a good thing, I guess. Hard ass would be good for more dialogue options, though I'm not certain how. That's probably something. We don't seem to run into too many of those, but um, that might change. So. Sure? Hard ass? I want the safe cracking. Uh, we're gonna hold on to them for now, again. Still. Yes, I'm indecisive. I gave him way too many, way too much responsibility as far as what skills I wanted him to take. That was poor planning on my part. Alright. Let's go head to that RV. Apparently everyone knows Bachowski. Except for when we ask about him. Apparently he has a bit of a reputation. Anything interesting to sell over here? Packs are really expensive. Yeah, not too much that's interesting. We already have a bit of red suits than that. Or actually we have those exact same red suits, and we're on our way to go get more red suits. And if you pick up the can, the goat head the goat butts you, so I'm just gonna leave the can there. If you were wondering why I haven't bothered to investigate the little glowing can. Okay, the RV is off this direction. We needed to uh, refill our water. Thought that happened automatically at uh, settlements, but I guess I was wrong. Up the RV. have the red suits yet. No. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Go ahead. Dead for Echo One, Ranger Aldine in the brig is requesting that I ask you how soon you will be returning prisoner Bichowski, who you have under your supervision. Please advise on his return. We'll have him back soon. Copy that, Echo One. Please bring him back ASAP. We still got some questions we want to ask him. I would like to know what they're questioning him about. Roger. Good luck. Uh, we should be able to drop one of these guys with two shots, I think. Or one shot. Even better. Two fur. Sweet. Probably gonna wind up shooting uh, Marcus in the back here, but hey. 
then yeah, they've got actually. Probably be better off. Oh. Oh, bloody hell we did It'd be nice if I could keep it loaded. It really would. No point in reloading it. Range, eh, ambush. Eh, off. I'll set up an ambush. In theory, we should be able to shoot over, Angela. Let's see how it works in practice. There we go. Level 20, we'll see if she gets another uh, attribute point. Can you get one every 10 levels? Maybe? I have no idea, honestly. Um, yep, yeah, more, more shooty stuff. The most uh, DPS out of her while we've got her in the crew. Poster for the dock to look at. Faded photograph. It's a faded photograph of faded weather orange. Surprising depth of motion emanates from this photo of a man and a dark-haired, olive-skinned woman. While you can only make out the man's silhouette, the woman's face beams with loving contentment. Oddly, she seems to be wearing armor made of old tires. Interesting. Reference to something I should be aware of. Alright fuckers, there's a safe. Combination is 733. Wonder if the combination is actually 733, or if he's gonna try to blow us up or something. Oh, those are the radiation suits. Those. I can't actually talk to him. I would really like to get a better understanding of the situation. Kind of... Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. You can understand where some situations you wouldn't be able to get, you know, information to get a good, uh, make, you know, a, a nice, well informed decision, but it seems like this really should be one Echo that you one, can. Your recent progress, Mary. Congratulations, Echo One. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. It doesn't really matter, it's just a thing, but seems like, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, um, let's get the energy weapons up. Ass sniper rifles and weapons, and thing after that. Well, maybe we should find someone else to do take hard ass skill. We've got Angela who could do it, but like I say, she's uh, going to be the group forever. Yes, so I'm using some bit of meta game knowledge there from a previous playthrough. I would call it a playthrough. I got through DeMonta, and that was about it.
Okay, um, we should get back to Ranger Citadel, but I'm kind of curious what's back here so while we're out here. Anything hidden up in this corner? Чебурашка вызывает шипотляк. Шипотляк, ответьте. Шипотляк на связи. Слушаю вас, Чебурашка. Interesting. Я только что встретил Реда Быховски. Он не согласился продать мне радиационные костюмы. Прием. Поняла вот, Чебурашка. Hello and water. Его брату на диском и приобрести радиационные костюмы у него. Прием. Прекрасно. Пожалуйста, сохраняйте радиомолчание до того, как мы получим костюм. Like... Я не хочу, чтобы рейнджеры узнали о том, что мы делаем, north... чем мы прибудем до Монта. Прием. Сообщение получено. Вас поняла. Конец связи. There's any way to like if these um, random radio signals are just just you know there for flavor, or if you can track them down and get some uh, additional uh, questing out of them. Like in uh, what was it Fallout Three that had random radio signals you could um, hear on your Pipoy and and uh, track them down by waiting for them to get uh, stronger, uh, weaker. I mean, they were all pretty much just, oh, here's a little hidden room with a little bit of gear and money in it. Maybe some corpses positioned in such a way to imply some sort of uh, situation had happened in here. But, um, yeah, something, I guess. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. No, really. All right, give it to me. I'll lock it Bringing him back, we should give him a bath first, though. I really would like to know what he was in there for, why they were questioning him, what this was about being drunk and getting shanghai Um, let's sell off those uh, Gila Monster parts we've collected. bunch of Gila monsters. They dropped stuff, we picked it up. Well. No, we can't sell the old radiation suits. Because they worked as a quest item. Maybe we can stash them. That's weird. Am I crazy? Maybe he just doesn't um, deal in those, it's not showing them, but... Okay, cool, we can stash those. Oh, we need to sell Angry Managers for Angry Managers, which... Really, should have been a lot funnier than it was. Can we sell this? game here, and I think we might do a little exploring on our way back to uh, Radiation Clouds in the East. Maybe we can sell those things to this one? You're there, right? 
did distribute all. Someone had to. Yeah, okay. Go tail and kill the meat. This guy has him. Am I just blind? I do sell all junk. Yeah, I guess it just didn't show up in that dialogue for whatever reason. At the very least, there was a, uh, a new mysterious shrine we can get to now that someone had told us about. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see what's back here. And I forgot to grab water again. That's hard. Well, find an oasis over here somewhere, I think. Um. Yeah, we could use some extra XP. We're pretty good up on bullets, and the 75% chance to run, I think, means they are going to be fairly low level. Yeah. Third one. It's over this way. There's only two. There he is. Let's get a bit closer and open up. That Uzi is, uh, as you can tell from his little uh, status bar thing there, pretty good. At, well, it gets better at even closer ranges, so might as well just put it right in their gut and pull the trigger. I believe there's an exit up at the top of the ramp here. There we go. We've already been to over that way. Okay. Dangerous raiders. Yeah, might as well. They're probably going to be the same sort of uh, deal we just dealt with. That was interesting. Get 
guessing he's not gonna make it this far, but hey. find too much interesting on these guys, but hey, only cost three bullets. I guess it's like 50 bucks, <laughs> so probably lost money on that, but hey. Continue down this way. Might find an oasis back here, I think. There it is. be, uh, really common. Dangerous Raiders. Yeah, sure, it's probably gonna be the same deal. Three guys with ten hit points apiece. Yep. Them three times over. Oh, there's a fourth one. Let's see, cranium's up next. Um, just in case we. Managed to kill him with this. Slightly better angle. He's out of range. And this should do him. There we go. Ash bullet. Yeah, I'm guessing doing these is probably not worth the investment. Although I suppose I can justify it under the whole um, cleaning up the wasteland thing. Um. Wonder, is anything interesting down here? Because we kind of just went to here and then up that way. The Velupe mine, we cleared that out. We shouldn't find anything in this little past here, I don't believe. We've already fairly thoroughly through here. Well, I wonder if spotting stuff is based on the skill? Be uh, perception or outdoorsman. Possible to no, do there. We've got good radiation suits now. She has the lowest hit points, and we'll probably have need of them more. Dangerous Raiders. Okay, so our run chance is significantly lower, which means these guys are probably going to be more interesting. Might actually be worth the bullets to kill. Mm, not so much, no. So, oh, the Wastelander is... Thank <laughs> you. 
on, take a knee. And Marcus, why don't you see about introducing us to one of these guys when they get in range? Like, yeah, him. Going next. I think we've got enough to, enough damage to drop him. Yes, do. Convenient. Over here, Basher, the heavy gunner. Let's put some hurt on the heavy gunner. Uh, these guys are probably gonna run up. Let's make a tempting target. Most worried about that heavy gunner. I think this will give me. I mean, he goes this way. He goes this way. Oh well. Doc, get you up here just in case something goes wrong. See if we can get an extra ambush off of anyone who charges in close. Line of fire is on this guy. Should not hit either of these two. And that takes him down a bit. Drop him. There we go. We've got our big gunner guy up that way. Um, really the only place we're gonna have cover on this thing. Okay, yeah. Uh, Did more damage to the dock. Good job.
Zuck is going to lose another 20 hit points. Wastelanders have to say. What? Uh. Really? Thanks is better than what, I guess. been here sooner. Okay, well that was sort of an interesting encounter, even if the random NPCs that were standing around there weren't, um, to, uh, they already loot this. There's that serious shrine I was looking for. I would hang out and listen to the radio sounds, but it never seems to do anything more than just make noises. that it doesn't count that while you're on the map on the uh, map. A nice pile of XP for everyone. He who knows does not speak. He who speaks does not know. Aozu. I'm butchering that name, but hey. That ignorant American, what do you expect? To be honest, I'm really tempted to move to Iceland. Just because. I mean, fermented shark. Why not? This way, what's this? Cash. They always seem to have steel plate armor. Um, let's give this one to Max. Carry that. That's almost exactly what the other one had in it. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything interesting back here and grab this oasis. A little low on water. I don't want to push my luck too much. Dangerous Raiders. 50-50. Okay, so these guys won't be quite as interesting as the last ones. But some of our people are close to, uh, there seems to be an awful lot of water in the wasteland. Maybe it's not potable. Let's see. Cutter. Gunslinger. Say hi to him. 
Yeah, um, an ambush, I guess, which could be kind of useless. Uh, let's take some cover and try to get close to him. And that's that. We got one level out of that. I'd call it worth it. Copy, Echo One. Yeah, congratulations, Echo One. And you know, enough points for really anything. Oops, hold on to those. Yeah, I guess we'll start bumping his mechanical repair next. Take over for uh, heretic, I think. Yeah. I mean, if there was the occasional bit of uh, loot or random stuff on these maps other than just things to put bullets in. Uh, we're on our way back after filling up our canteen, so let's continue. I believe that oh, the pastor wants to move it this way. So let's Greetings, there we go. Are you looking for a safe path to the east? Do you wish to journey to the mountain and beyond? Then let the the, uh... of the mushroom cloud be your guide. The Canyon of Titan is the only clear route through the radiation, and we guarantee your safety within it from west to east and back again. All that is required is a small donation to our temple, and your security is assured. If you can hear this message, you are almost to our canyon. Just keep heading to the east through the Great Flow until you reach the safety of our canyon. May Titan's peace be upon you. Okay, so we know how to get to the uh, canyon of Titan now, at least. A little more Looking around. End. Those are very pleasant, weird sounds. of tight. Yeah, so I suppose most of the problems with me um, words being cut off is me. So, hey. I'll uh, try to work on that, I suppose. But I 
think this might be a good spot to call it for now. We have work in the morning after all. Yeah, I think I'm going to save it here before I go much further. And yeah, if you think the crater is um, interesting, we're going to be seeing lots of those. They have a very unique method of keeping the peace around here. So uh, we look forward to that next time. Thanks for watching.